Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes is Alan Iverson, aka the answer, aka Bubba Chuck, the third degree, which is actually a nickname that he does have. It's just not really a well-known one. Um, actually recently just went on the record to say what his all-time starting five was. So uh, Allen Iverson, of course, being like a multiple-time NBA All-Star, a scoring champion, an MVP, uh, you know, carrying that uh, 76ers team back in 2001 to the finals against the Lakers. Yeah, Iverson knows a thing or two about basketball. For today's video, we are actually going to see if Iverson's all-time starting five could go 82-0 in the current NBA. So um, as far as the team, this is what it is looking like. We do have... Uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and Stephen Curry. Um, so I was actually just on Twitter at Flakes 2 k and Stephen A. Smith, who covered Iverson uh, throughout like the majority of his career, a big portion of it, um, said that he would actually have Kevin Durant over Kobe Bryant because he's five inches taller and because he's a better perimeter shooter. Guys, give me your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Would you rather have prime Kevin Durant or prime Kobe Bryant on your all-time starting five? So... Yeah, as far as the lineup we are going to roll with, um, we are going to stick with Stephen Curry as the starting point guard of this team. I feel like his three-point shooting would be big time out here because there's a lot of, like, ball-dominant guards out here. No matter what, like, Curry, yes, he is very efficient with the ball in his hands, but at the same time, if he has to be, like, an off-ball scorer and just run off screens and do things like that, um, that would just be okay. Be just like his father, Del Curry, and I still think he would excel in that role. Um, also, Michael Jordan at the shooting guard position. I was thinking, like, I wasn't sure, like, Michael or Kobe at the 2-3 and three spot. Uh, they are the, the, uh, both the same height. Uh, Kobe does weigh about 10 pounds more, so just for that reason, I did put him at the small forward position. But, yeah, Michael Jordan on this team right here. Um, you know, I, I don't really know how he would play in this case, uh, being with LeBron and Kobe himself, because... This is where it gets kind of to the whole thing where it's like, yeah, these, these are three really great players, but there is still only one ball on the court, right? So who would you guys have handled the ball the majority of the time? I think I would still run it through LeBron because I feel like he would be the best passer on this team. Um, you, you know, with sometimes Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan get in the ball in isolation situations. And, you know, I still want Kobe running off screens with both these guys posting up the smaller, you know, guard slash small forwards out there. I think that would work out pretty nicely. And then, of course, when it's all said and done, you know, if things don't work out and Curry's not open and Michael Jordan and Kobe can't get a shot up, which would just never happen, you got big Shaquille O'Neal to dump the ball into. So, yeah, I want to from you guys in the comment uh, section below. Give me your all-time starting five. I'm curious what it would be. I think I might do a video on mine pretty soon. If you guys do want to see that, uh, drop a like on this video. So, of course, we are running with the 2000-2001 76ers. Cause that's, uh, that year, Iverson, yeah, he was a beast, man. He averaged like 31 points. Uh, he also got about five assists, three seals per game. He was shooting a lot of shots because his team was kind of weak. Yeah, he still did amazing out there uh, despite that. So, as far as this goes, uh, we got the defense right here, which is this Isaac Daly. I guess that's his specialized thing out there. That's four and a half stars. We got balance. Wow, man. That's the first time I've ever seen a five overall system proficiency. We also got pace and space, which is five stars, which I think is what I'm going to run probably just because, like, that's where we are in the NBA where three-point shots um, is how you win games. So, here we go, man. We got... We got Curry, we got Jordan, we got Kobe, LeBron, and Shaquille O'Neal. And I guess for this, we should kind of pay some tribute to Allen Iverson. I want to talk a bit about him right now, man. Um, because, you know, in my opinion, do I think he would excel in this current NBA? I really think he would just because, like, um, he would need to become a better three-point shooter because, like, throughout his entire NBA career, he was about, like, a 30% uh, three-point shooter. A lot of his game was getting to the basket, getting fouls, and doing things like that which you would think would actually benefit him now more than ever because, um, you know, like the hand check rules and all that stuff. Uh, Iverson would probably be seeing the free throw line just as much as James Harden does now on the uh, Houston Rockets. So, yeah, you look at, I, I always make this comparison. I go back to uh, Isaiah Thomas's season with the Boston Celtics where he dropped like 30 points per game. And I'm like, you know, Isaiah Thomas is great and everything, but if he could do that at like 5'9", uh, Al Iverson at six foot, I think would still be just as dominant out there as ever. I would say probably like he would be around like 30 point per game score right now. Maybe maybe even a little higher than that because the story was uh, so amazing out there. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I also was kind of thinking about it too though because Iverson's field goal efficiency is around like 42 percent for his career average, uh, which is like not all that great. Um, and I was actually on Twitter. I, I was just kind of getting into like some small little debates here with people because I don't know, man. Sometimes, I, what the fuck, bro? Oh my god, Luca Don bitch ass. No, get no, no, stop, stop, just stop simulating, man. The damn Dallas Mavericks. 
wow we wow this was not even a close game this is not even come down to like a close game winning shot they simply just beat our asses down man no check bro first quarter 29 25 nice second quarter we just you know 30 19 we got them in the third and then they dropped 38 points on us in the fourth quarter shaq 28 and 26 who actually choked this game damn curry damn yo somebody foul out or something yeah lebron and curry both fouled out oh my god man seriously bro unbelievable oh wow oh i'm happy for oh my god um oh my god you all got checked by jj berea jj abrams berea man bitch ass transformer dude is he the dude that made transformers i mean berea is a nice player and everything but not in this case i'm sorry berea nothing against you as a person but against this team you ain't freaking dropping no 24 and 6 harry potter barnes and noble at 23 dirk Nowitzki playing like he damn prime dirk again I actually do like, do like Luka Doncic, so I'm sorry I called you uh, Luka Don bitch ass. I'm sorry about the man. I'm just wow. Was not expecting that. I was I was expecting a two and zero guys. I straight up was expecting a two and zero. I don't know, man. Let's continue the simulation at this point. Um, but yeah, man, this, this, I was just getting into some debate on Twitter about Iverson and just like looking at his field goal percentage. Um, a lot of people said the reason that is because I, I was comparing it to like Carmelo Anthony, who's another guy that takes a lot of shots and. You know, hasn't really ultimately won all that much um, as far as like championships or things like that. I mean, Iverson has had some playoff success, so don't get me wrong right there. Um, but just like the whole the whole sense where it's like you know, high field goal percentage takes a lot of shots, uh, low field goal percentage uh, efficiency. It's like does that really lead to wins anymore? I guess I'm, I'm trying to think of like a player right now that takes a lot of shots and it doesn't lead to really big time like playoff success. The one I'm thinking of is probably, uh, well, Melo's not really in, in the league anymore right now. He's not on a team. But I'm thinking of, like, Russell Westbrook, where it's the same thing, where it's, like, very dominant. Scores lots of points. Defense is good, man. Gets the assist out there. Even gets the rebounds. Gets the triple doubles. But it doesn't really translate to wins. So, I guess, what is the what is the optimal way to win games as, as a superstar? Like, is it a balance between efficiency as a scorer and having teammates around you? Because, you know, Melo... Uh, definitely had better teammates around him, I would say, throughout his entire career than Iverson has, and which I believe is a big reason why Iverson took so many shots. Um, you know, or back in the 2001-2002 uh, season, he was taking 29 shots per game, guys. And uh, a lot of that just comes down to, you know, they had, like, Dikembe Mukumbo. Um, I think Eric Snow was on that team at one point, and just, like, players like that, where you're not exactly asking Eric Snow to go out there and be a, a solid second or third option and get, you know, 15 to 20 points per game. So, in that case, Iverson did have to take over. So, in a way, you almost have to, like, respect the player for being able to put the team on his back like that. Uh, but it just comes down to the argument, which is what is the most efficient way for a team and a player to not only have success, be a superstar, but also have success in the NBA and, you know, win championships and things along those lines. That's where I think of the... Uh, the Michael Jordans and the LeBron James and the Kobe Bryants. But at the same time, all those players all had the Scottie Pippen or the Shaq on their team or the uh, Dwayne Wade or the Kyrie Irving. It's like, you know, the best player I think we've ever seen Iverson play with. And this is, this is just off the top of my head, guys. I'm probably like not thinking of somebody. Probably was actually Carmelo Anthony, right? On the Denver Nuggets. Because I'm thinking about those Philadelphia teams. And just like outside like an old ass to Kevin Mutombo. Nobody's really coming to mind to me, man. But we did go 81 on the season every single time 2K does this to me, man. Where it's just like, I, I just like one game away, one game away from the perfect season. Uh, we do have LeBron James at 25 points, 13 rebounds, and 14 assists per game, shooting 42% from three. DeAndre as rookie of the year, Dennis Schroeder, six man. Uh, Big check as defensive player, also dropping 25 points, 22 rebounds out there, three assists, and two steals. Henry Gordon, most improved. And then Isaac Daly, whoever the hell that guy is, as coach of the year. Um, all NBA teams. We do have two LeBron James out there because I did take like the prime one. Um, also, Michael making it, Stephen Curry, and Shaq. So, Kobe was the only one left off this list. But I think the reason is because he is, was still technically like listed as a guard. So, you can only have two of the guards on there at a time. Um, all NBA second team. Yeah, Kobe Bryant making that with Russell, Giannis, Kawhi, Nikola Jokic, James Harden, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Paul George. You're all be making all NBA third team. And here, of course, is the rest of this right here. All right, man. So let's go ahead and check out these player stats. I, I imagine we're going to sweep the playoffs, but maybe not. Uh, let's go to the... I always thought we were going to go 8-2-0. Oh. 
So Curry at 27.6 rebounds, 11 assists per game on about 19 shots. 50% field goal percentage, shot 43% from three. I'm um, actually out of the big five right here. He actually shot the lowest field goal percentage, surprisingly. But at the same time, he does shoot a lot of threes. So those are a lot tougher than like what Shaq's doing when that's just dunking the basketball. Uh, MJ at 26, 9, and 9 with three steals. We got Shaq at 25 and 22 with four blocks per game. LeBron James with his uh, triple-double out there. And then we got Kobe Bryant at 24 points, six rebounds, 11 assists, and two steals per game. And just while we're on the subject of Kobe Bryant, guys, can we please, can we please stop with the notion that Kobe Bryant was a big-time ball hog? Can we please stop with that? Because can we just go ahead and check out, like, his assists out there per game? Six, 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 five, five, five. Five, five. It's like Kobe Bryant was a good passer out there, man. So uh, I just gotta say that real quick. I, I, I don't know. People always say he's a big time ball. I guess he took some crazy shots, but he also got the assist out there. All right, first round we do have the Miami Heat. So simulate current rounds. See how this goes. It should be a sweep in theory, but you never really know with 2K. We could just lose in the next round to what is it? Gonna be Philadelphia probably, or maybe Brooklyn. Okay, Philadelphia. So we get Miami four games to zero. Bam dropping 20. We got 28 and 19 from Shaq. 26, 10 and 9 from Michael. 25 for Kobe, double doubles for uh, Stephen and LeBron James. Next up, Philadelphia, simulate current rounds. See how this goes for us. Got game one, got game two, got game three, and we got game four, man. It is a sweep. So far, so good. Except for that 1 0 we took. And we got uh, Kobe Bryant at 38, 6 and 8, 27, 13, 13 for Michael, 22 and 23 game for Shaq. And then once again, LeBron with triple double and a very nice game. Actually, not really. He shot six for 21 for Curry, but still put up 15 threes compared to everybody else. It's like three and five and six. All right, next up, Toronto. This is a team that always makes me nervous. Simulate current rounds. Got game one. Got game two. Got game three. And it's a sweep, man. It's a sweep. Four games to zero. Okay, see, I'm not typically worried about right here. He's the closeout game for this series over here. Everybody played amazing. All right, OKC Thunder, simulate current rounds. Got game one, got game two, got game three, and we got it in four games, zero. LeBron James as final MVP. And just one more quick note. Yo, Curry, oh my God, 20, uh, 45 and 10, 18 for 23 shooting. Um, I just got to say this real quick here. Yo, this is coming from Allen Iverson himself. Iverson says that Michael Jordan is the GOAT over LeBron James and will always be the GOAT over LeBron James. So... LeBron, uh, LeBron and Jordan fans, give me your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, Iverson, one of my favorite players of all time. I meant no disrespect if you guys like like got disrespected by my by me talking about like, field goal percentage and stuff like that. It's just an argument, you know. I like to bring up stuff like that, just like get people talking and things along those lines. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and peace out, my friends.